friends and welcome to the English version of Defense Matrix. We've recently seen that greater details of the Navy's twin-engine deck-based fighter program or TEDBF program are now available. These will eventually replace the 41 MiG-29K aircraft that the Navy currently operates. In a future world where the indigenous aircraft carrier IAC-2 is built, the TEDBF will operate from that as well. The Navy's 57 deck-based multi-role fighter requirement is also likely to be fulfilled by this aircraft if the performance of the prototypes is proven out. All in all, the Indian Navy is looking to acquire 100 TEDBF from the ADA. In fact, if timelines can be maintained, this program will earn the distinction of being the shortest carrier-based fighter development program anywhere in the world. The Navy will be fully involved in this project, closely working with the ADA. To shorten the testing period, data obtained from the Tejas Mark I naval version will also be leveraged, as there are substantial subsystems that are directly inherited from it. The 24.5-ton deck-based fighter will be developed in parallel with the AMCA. The ADA has estimated a net cost of Rs 13,000 crore for R&D and for the construction of three prototypes. These prototypes are planned for 2027, 28 and 29. The first prototype will be tested from a shore-based test facility. The second prototype will be tested from a carrier deck. And the third will be for weapons integration. The subsystems for the prototypes will borrow heavily from both the Tejas Mark II and AMCA programs, allowing the testing phase to be condensed. Interestingly, production is slated to commence prior to the IOC certification, which is estimated to be around 2030. The Navy's approach to the TEDBF is quite practical. Get the aircraft into production after rigorous testing, induct the base product, and mature the platform with upgrades while it's in service. The Navy is expecting 40 aircraft by 2034 or 35 in IOC configuration. The remaining upgraded aircraft may be expected to be delivered five years from there. And in a welcome departure from historical practice, expect very close involvement from the private sector, which will also likely support much higher capacities. Additionally, the Navy and ADA have also planned for a TEDBF trainer aircraft with minimal design changes, unlike in the case of the Tejas Mark I and its trainer. And by the way, the computer-generated rendering that you are seeing here is not to be taken as the final official design. It's possible that it could be unveiled in the 2021 Aero India. The plan looks good and if executed well and in timely fashion, nothing like it. And having come to the end of the video, may I now ask that you take a moment to like the video and subscribe to our channel. Jai Hind!